Hello and welcome back to Night Parade, the show where we watch anime and talk about it for your entertainment. I'm Fat Man. I'm Fenris. And tonight we're reviewing Wandering Sun. Wandering Sun. So, dude. Yeah. Wandering Sun. I, I'd never seen this before. We watched it for this, but it's been on my to watch list for quite a while. Really? That surprised me. Yeah. Knowing the type of stuff you tend to enjoy. Yeah. Well, this... this fits my interests. It fits my interests, too. And we will talk much more about that and why. Yes. Wandering Sun first aired January 14th, 2011, and ran until April 1st, 2011. Yep. Consists of 11 episodes... Well, 13 if you want to watch it properly. <laughs> yeah. They cut the TV series short by a couple episodes, fusing episodes 10 and 11 into one for the TV run. Yeah. Which kind of makes sense, because there was some shit that happened in that that was really weird. <laughs> yeah, but I'm glad we watched them. Yeah, it they had a... So much characterization. There was so much good stuff cut out, but it made a lot more sense to watch that extra content. Yeah, definitely. So, Fenris. Yes. Why don't you tell us a little about this show? Ooh. Well, like what it's about and stuff? Yeah, just give me a basic rundown. Uh, Wandering Sun is a coming of age story about our homie, Shuichi Nitori, and their, um, gender identity, and, uh, navigating through puberty and middle school. Yeah. If, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's about right. Our main character, Nitorin, is a middle school boy that is very feminine. Feminine yes. looking, and... I guess, by the end of the show, identifies as a girl. Oh, but, yeah. She's a very lovely lady. At least I do. I think so. She's so it's, they're just so sweet, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a bit of drama in this. Just a tiny bit of drama. You were comparing it to Kids on the Slope when we first started. Yeah. In terms of drama happening... Yeah, it's very character-driven. Uh, I guess when they were kids, uh, Nitori oh, yeah, and... when they were kids. Uh, or... When they were kids, there were three of them. Nitorin, Takatsuki, and Chiba. Yes. And Chiba introduced Nitorin, at least, to cross-dressing. I'm not sure if Takatsuki was doing it at that time, or if that's where it started. I mean... Takatsuki was dressed like a dude most of the time. Yeah. But, yeah, things get- people get introduced, they hang out, rumors get started at the middle school about Takatsuki and Nitun going out a bunch. So there is relationship drama and also gender identity drama because mm -hmm. people are dicks. Yeah, people are dicks. So... Let's see, uh, Chiba has a crush on Nitorin, and Takatsuki has a crush on Nitorin, Nitorin has a crush on Takatsuki, and the feelings are not reciprocated, uh, well, the feelings are not reciprocated to Chiba. They are not, unfortunately, because Chiba's a, a nice one. Yeah. Chiba is brutally honest. And I like that, though. Hmm. But he's also kind of a dick. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's do some manga facts. Oh. As a manga, this was written by Takako Shimura, and the manga originally started on November 2nd, 2002, and ran until July 12th, 2013. It consisted of 123 chapters across 15 volumes. And... Yeah. What were the differences that you saw in the 
uh, anime to the manga. Okay, for the record, I didn't get a chance to finish the manga yeah. while we were watching. Mostly because... Um, 123 it, chapters is quite a bit to go through. No, I'm no slow at reading. I can probably knock back 120 chapters in a day. Oh. I read 70 chapters of a manga in one day. And, uh, I think I read... The, uh, hold on, I want to try and... I read it, I know what there... I read the entirety of Stone Ocean, which is part of JoJo's. Ah. And, like, six volumes in two days. Impressive. So, I probably could've. Digital or paperback? Digital. Okay. Mostly because JoJo has not up until recently got it on print one it gone in the West. Mm. But, I digress. I read really fast, but... It's essentially like, re- having read most of it, it's essentially right. You said there was some daily stuff that was cut out. Yeah, just some regular daily stuff, where, like, characters are just chilling, And the whole elementary school stuff got cut out. Ah. And they didn't go past middle school, which would have been rather lengthy. I guess it would have been difficult to cram all of that into 13 episodes. Absolutely. So they picked, I'd say, the best arc for the shortest per- short period of time they got. I I might have to read the manga. I've really taken a liking to this one. And to the characters? Yeah. I, I want to find out what happens. Mm-hmm. I want my little Nitorin to be happy. We, we all want Nitorin to be happy, and Tukotsky, too. <sighs> It'd be really cool if they made more anime of this. Yeah, it would. But I'm not sure if, like, not many people... I feel like not many people watch it. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, it's well-liked in the anime community, surprisingly. Hmm. But that's because people there just really, really like it. Ah. So, I guess let's talk about the show a little bit more. Yeah, well... What... what draws you so much to this anime? Um, well, for one, the visuals. Ah, uh, yes. The visuals of it are, like, very striking and, like, a watercolor storybook style, which is just something I really, really like and can get behind. The character designs, the art, the scenery, everything is very simple, which yeah. is a nice contrast to a lot of the stuff we've been watching recently. But being so simple, the characters kind of have a bad case of same face. At least most of them. Yeah. The manga fixes some of the issues as the characters grow and develop, but... I still can't remember a lot of their names, and because so much of them look so similar, I get them confused in my head. They do look really freaking similar. The only issue with them looking similar that I don't mind is partially because of the middle school thing. Yeah. Because when you're young, you tend to look more like your classmates and shit. Yeah. But that's no excuse for the same face. <laughs> that's just one thing that I just... Let's, let's them get away with the same face a bit, I feel. Yeah. You know? Talking more about the art and animation. I... Hmm. Yeah, I was very fond of the way this turned out. Yeah, same... Like, the anime turned out really, really nice, and I need to finish the manga, but I already know how it ends, because towards the end of this, I just wanted to just take a peek to see if we get a happy ending. There was no standout animation. Except for maybe the, the first, like, the scene where he, like, runs away from home. Oh, yeah. That looked really good. But that's because there wasn't much lingering. Yeah. If, if you linger too long in, a, in this, you start to notice some flaws. The only real problems I had with this were 
sometimes in in the background characters or events were just static images that would shift every couple seconds it didn't bother me too much it it may just be an art uh, an art choice well in the, as someone who read the manga for the first couple of volumes like this is according to the author's notes by the way the author forgot to draw backgrounds ah so the anime had to wing it <laughs> okay but when like they re realize they started just doing like feel slightly consistent they just sort of like made like faded backgrounds like one scene in particular that pops into my mind is they were standing in front of the gymnasium and you could see some kids playing basketball in the background and it was just a static image of two of them standing there around the ball and it was like mid-air in this static image and it would shift to the other one having the ball or just one moving around. I can't explain it very well, but that is my example. I mean, it makes sense. It, it's not the focal point, it's not important, it's easily dismissible, but yeah. it's just something I noticed. It, it doesn't get in the way of the enjoyment of the anime, unless you're, like, a total not in the slightest. or something. <laughs> like, I could imagine myself if I was really fucking picky mentioning it. Oof. So, Nitoreen, uh, middle school boy, feminine, likes to cross-dress. This is just following the... the... middle school part. Yeah. Nitoreen and friends time through these few middle school years. And yes, being middle school, you get to deal with a lot of the middle schooler shit. I found myself complaining that about this the same way I did with Kids on the Slope, about but then, but just, they just talking to solve your problems, but then you, ki you kept reminding me that they're just middle school students, they're not... High schoolers. <laughs> about to graduate like they were in Kids on the Slope. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's a little bit more forgivable with their age. Mm-hmm. Because would you talk to your friends when you're angry at them in middle school? I did. I, but that's what my parents taught me to do. Did your friends talk to you when they were pissed? Hell no. Exactly. <sighs> but it makes sense, but it's also... <clears throat> definitely a thing that's kind of annoying. Yeah. Also, for, for real dudes, the characters feel very fucking, like, memorable to me. Yeah. In the sense that, whew, I, I can feel where they're coming from with some of their shit. Yeah, there's some, some real shit in this. Yeah. It, uh, it bothers me that so many of the problems in this are... Actual problems some people deal with. Yeah. Like bullying and shit like that. Just because someone acts or is a way that you aren't used to doesn't mean that it's a bad thing or that it should be shunned. I don't know, the, the whole... Oh, uh, this episode's going to be very opinionated. I In can tell. In a good way. Because our opinions are our opinions. Just, just be who you are. Be who you want to be. And don't... Yeah. Don't let Don't put anyone... down others for trying to be happy. Takatsuki goes to school one day dressed as a boy. And... Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, you look so cool. You, you pulled off really well. And he goes to school in a guy's uniform. Yeah, Chi. Well. I love Chi. Chi Chi is best girl. She is <laughs> she my really... favorite. Chi is so eccentric and does not give a fuck about what anyone thinks. Chi I strive in my life to be like Chi. Oh yeah. But There's this moment with Chi that I kinda wanna talk about. We'll get there. Okay. You know the one. But Nitorin goes to school dressed in the the female uniform and mm -hmm. just gets laughed at and made fun of and shunned and it <sighs> made me cry, dude. I 
would have cried if I hadn't known it was coming. Like, that, that's and a I, fucking double standard right there. That's not... Yeah. That's not cool. Total bullshit. It's just... It's just cloth. It's just different clothing. Who mm -hmm. gives a shit what you wear? Yeah, not just that. Who gives a shit how you identify? If, like, don't fucking rag on people for that shit. Real talk? Yeah. I've kind of always wanted to cross dress. I mean, shit just sounds like fun. You know? I don't really have the build for it, though. Oh, come on. Do it anyways. Someday. Yeah, someday. Yeah. My grandparents would kill me if they saw me. <laughs> oh no. Oh my. But, yeah, just let people do what they do. Yeah. And don't, this goes to everyone, don't let people dictate how you feel about yourself. I mean, it's not like they're hurting anyone. They may make you angry or that, but... Never stop expressing who you are. It is... It is absolutely a deal of self-expression, and you do what makes you happy, alright? Yeah. Exactly. <sighs> Sorry, well, that made me angry. No problem. I'm also upset when I watch this from time to time. But it's good that it makes you upset, because it makes you think about it, right? Yeah... But that shit really happens to people. Ah, <sighs> I thought the uh, classmates would be at least a little cool with it after the whole gender bender play. Yeah, which came way before he even mentioned shit. Yeah. Or did anything really? This was like three episodes, four episodes before he went to school. Cross yeah, and. Timeline-wise, that was months. They had an idea to do a play in class where all the girls dress as guys and all the guys dress as girls. Yeah, just... But it was like Romeo and Juliet like that. Now, yeah. Romeo and Juliet, I hate. It's my <laughs> least favorite Shakespeare play. Yeah? Yeah, but I digress. I'm partial to Hamlet. Yeah, Hamlet's just so good. Despite Hamlet... Yeah, I like Hamlet. Hamlet's really good. Yeah, but... Uh, originally, it was... Nitorine and Chiba were both writing their separate plays for it, and the teacher said, Hey, uh, I can't decide, so you two better write it together. Which is... A, kind of fucking weird. Yeah, you can't just t bash two scripts together and call it a story. It, it It's not gonna flow right. So it ended up just being Romeo and Juliet with swapped genders. Yeah, and it kind of blew. <laughs> what if it we saw? Oh no. Uh, fucking, what's his name? Mako blew it out of the park as Juliet. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Juliet. I am, I am Juliet. <laughs> Which is just, that was just great. Just listening to them just psych themselves up through the show. Yeah. Makoto is another interesting character. Who? Makoto. Uh, Mako. Mako? Yeah. Yeah. Mako's great. They're N Itorin's best friend. That isn't Takatsuki or Chiba, right? Yeah. They just talk with Nitorin, and you just hear them discuss their issues, like, wherever. It's just great. Reading their description on my anime list right now. Yeah. Some stuff I didn't pick up on. I knew Mako had an attraction to men, but I didn't know he wanted to be a girl. That, that they didn't pick up? You didn't pick that up? Nah. I didn't really pick up that up either. I'm just a bit oblivious. Yeah, same. But then again, there was just so much stuff happening to begin with. Yeah. Sometimes you miss a thing or two. Especially when when we started yelling at the fucking anime. Right? Yeah. I really do appreciate that the characters in this that are trans and gay and 
cross-dressing, that, that aspect of them isn't what defines their character. Yeah. It's just... Part of It's them. just part of them. They, they have actual Interest. character otherwise. Yeah. Because like, in a lot of fiction I've seen, the, the gay one's personality is just, I'm gay. And that's not a personality. Oh. Right. Yes. Like, you get Tchaikovsky, who's essentially just very outspoken. Well, is Tchaikovsky really outspoken? Not Tchaikovsky. Chiba's outspoken. Chi is outspoken. We've got to make a differentiation between Chi and Chiba. Chi Chi has a name, but they never say it. Yeah. Chiba is the childhood friend of Nitori and Takatsuki. And Chi, or... uh, Sarashino. I I guess her name is Chizuru. Yeah. Chizuru. I thought it was just a nickname she came up with herself. <laughs> I didn't realize her name was Chizuru. I feel like a dumb. <laughs> Feeling like a dumb's okay. Sometimes I feel like a dumb. Yeah. But that's because I am a dumb. <laughs> You're not dumb. Just oblivious and inattentive. So what was your favorite moment? It was one like, she... Need to are like getting ready for the morning. Yeah. Put it at their ready. lockers. Yeah. And someone just like yells in their direction, and she's like, "What was that?" Loudly. Yeah. Standing and up for our for a little Nitorine. And. And Momo Maho, pulled her away. Momo's just like, "How about we don't do that? They'll bully us too." And then she's like. Just turns to me, Tori, and say, Don't worry, I've always been a freak. I took first in the class freak, as class freak at my old school. <laughs> and she's just such a... Just stuck it out for him. She is so cool. Yeah. She is just... That is why she's best girl. You know? Yeah. Because she just, just doesn't take shit. Like, and they're just so unashamed of who they are. Exactly. And they're just 200% themselves. My favorite episode was episode 6, when they performed the first gender bend play. Oh shit, how'd that even go? Uh, we oh, didn't yeah. get to see the whole thing, sadly. It was a bit of a mess. Yeah. According to what we've seen. Mako walked out on stage and was nervous and... Did the thing. Where for out there, what, Romeo? All the all that jazz? Mako was nervous and was running through thoughts in their mind and was getting discouraged and fumbled on their lines and was like, Uh, sorry, can I start over? Which got the theater laughing. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Then the rest of the cast came on stage and encouraged. That was nice and wholesome. I loved <laughs> that beforehand when they were backstage and everyone was nervous and their their teacher was just he was doing that uh, that thing from Clan Ad where the, the charm where they write num- numbers on their hand and swallow them. Yeah. On the topic of the teacher, I have to bring this up. Uh, during my research, I found that the teacher, uh, Manabu Saisho, is voiced by Kazuya Nakai, who also voices Ryuji from Blue Exorcist and Rorona Wazoro. One Piece. I thought I mentioned that in the Blue Exorcist thing. Well, you know how bad my short-term memory is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it blew your noggin? Yeah. I I love the thought of Zoro or Ryuji just being this nervous teacher. Yeah. Uh, it was actually a pretty nice teacher, too. Yeah. He's so chill. He's. I strive to be as chill as him. He's chill, open-minded, and just... Ah. Uh, I want to be a teacher like that someday. 
Would you like to be a great teacher? Oh, I don't know. Uh, middle school or high school, I want to be a choir teacher. Sounds nice, but That's my yeah, dream. lone silence, awkward. <laughs> uh, how about the music? Yeah, the fucking music. I. It's the shit. We didn't skip the opening or ending once. I asked for one of the OVAs, but was actually promptly denied <laughs> by you. I. I can't, I can't for the life of me remember what the opening sounds like at all. <laughs> but sorry, outbursts of randomly singing parts of the OP. But the ending it pops mm -hmm. into my head immediately. I wanna cry for you. <laughs> I, I can't remember the lyrics, but I, I got the. The melody of that stuck in my head so easily just there. I love the the ending. What's with us liking the the endings more than the openings recently? Uh, I guess it's just a thing. I mean, I love the OP for this, but it's I just like Rie Fu as an artist. Yeah. Uh, and you uh, you said that she also did the the ending for. OP. The OP? Either OP or ED, I don't recall. The one that you showed me was the ED. Okay, I don't know Bleach. Like, seriously, I don't know Bleach that well. Ah. It's the, uh, you said it was the ending for episodes 1 through 11, which is one of my favorite Bleach endings, because so much of it is in English, and it's one of the few that I actually memorized a bit of. Mm. Nobody knows who I really am. I've never felt this empty before. And if I ever need someone to come along, who's gonna comfort me and keep me strong? No, sorry. Did we both just start singing that? Yes. It, it's so good. It is. It's just the best. So... Yeah, same same artist did both of those. And it's just as memorable as both of them. Oh yeah. I think I've gone through most of my notes. Oh fuck, what were my notes? Notes notes about my shit. Sorry. Yeah, yes. we should move on. <clears throat> Start wrapping up. So I love this show. I'm probably going to pick up the manga after this. This show warms my I see heart. Aw, it's so wholesome. It is so wholesome. So much of the intolerance in this pisses me off, but... There's also so much tolerance in it. Not... And the characters, it, it all works out at the end of this, at least as far as the anime goes. Yeah, the characters get to be happy, I want to hug all of them. I want to hug some teenagers. The best way to experience this show is to watch episodes 1 through 9, skip episode 10, watch both OVAs, and then watch episode 11 of the TV show. Yeah. You can catch this on Crunchyroll and Verve and pick up the manga, because it's available in the United States. Yeah, please do pick up the manga. It's a far more, like enriching experience as someone who's read the manga. Hmm. Looking so forward to it. Not only is there more of it, you get to spend more time with the characters. Well, we've shared our thoughts, but we'd like to hear yours as well, in the comments below and on our Discord. The night parade has now come to an end. I want to watch some stuff die. Next week, Bakano. Yes. Bye. Bye-bye.